Tired of the same old Windows 11 look? Watch closely because by the end of this video, your desktop could look this unreal. I'm gonna cover how to get this beautiful taskbar, also this really nice translucent start menu, all of these useful widgets, as well as translucent notification center. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, I will also show you how to get this really nice live wallpaper on your desktop. And the best part, you can do it in just a few minutes. I'll show you exactly how step by step. If you want more Windows 11 tricks like this, hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss the next setup. So without any further ado, let's dive in and transform your Windows 11 right now. Now, the first thing which we are going to do is to change the Windows mode to the dark as well as remove this ugly recycle bin on our desktop. To do that, you can go here to the start menu, go here to the settings and go here under the personalization. For the colors here, you will change this from light to the dark. So this theme will pop even more if you have Windows set to the dark theme. And now to remove the recycle bin icon on our desktop, you will right click on your desktop, go here to the view and make sure to uncheck this option show desktop icons. And now we can continue with the customization of the taskbar. Make sure that you download and install this program. It's called Windhog. You can just click here on the download option and you should get this exe file. Then you can click on it here, click yes on the admin prompt, and then you can just install it like you would any other Windows program. Now, once you have it installed, you can just go here to the start menu, search for the Windhawk and here click on Windhawk app. Now, the first thing to customize our taskbar is this modification. It's called Windows 11 taskbar styler. Here, I will just copy the name. And if you don't see it here under the featured mods, you will go here to the explore page. And here on top on the input field, you will paste in this name of the modification inside. And here you will click on details and install. I already have it installed. So right now, once you have it installed as well, you will go here under the settings and under the theme, this is where you will pick this one right here. It's called taskbar 12. So just click on it here. So this is the taskbar 12 theme. Click on save settings. And now you can see here how the actual taskbar changed its theme. I think it does look much better compared to before. And here we also have this animating uh, icon here for our system tray icons, which I think looks super, super cool. Now let's go here on with the Windows 11 start menu. So make sure that you search for this modification. So Windows 11 start menu styler, install it like you did the Windows 11 taskbar styler. And then here, go to the details, go to the settings and make sure that you change the theme to this one right here. It's called translucent start menu. Click on it. And then here you can also enable this option, disable the new start menu layout. So click on it as well. And then here click on save settings. And now our start menu should look something like this with this transparency effect behind it. Now let's also enable the transparency effect on our notification center, because this is how our current notification center looks like. So to modify it, you will go back to the Windhawk. Let's go here to the home page and make sure that you install this modification. It's called Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. And make sure that you install it like you did the two modifications before. And here, go to the settings, change the theme here to the translucent shell, just like this. And then here, click on save settings. And now if I open here the notification center, this is how it actually right now looks like. Much better than before. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you, of course, haven't already. And now let's go here to this Unsplash where I found this really cool wallpaper. Make sure that you download it by clicking here on this green drop down menu and then here click on the original size and this will save this image to your computer and then here you can also click to show in the file explorer and to set it as your desktop background, you can just double left click on it and this will open the photos app. Then here, click on the three dots, click on set as, and here, make sure that you select background. Now, if you want to set it as your lock screen wallpaper as well, you can also once again, click on the three dots here, click on set as, and select here lock screen. And now if I go here and lock my computer, you will also see here this same wallpaper as my lock screen as well. And I think it does look much better than the default Windows 11 wallpaper. By the way, guys, if you need a brand new wallpaper, I also made a brand new wallpaper pack, which will take your desktop to a whole new level. And you guys can check it out by clicking the link in the video description down below. Now let's continue here with the widgets for Windows 11. 
So to do that, we will have to install this program. It's called RainMeter, and this will allow us to add widgets on our desktop. So here, click on the download button and you should get this exe file. Click on it and install it on your computer. Here, I'm gonna click on next and install. Here, click yes on the admin prompt and then just wait for a few seconds. Here, click on finish and now you should see some of the pre-installed skins on your desktop. You can just right click on them and then unload skin. Now, once you have pretty much empty desktop without any widgets, we can right now continue with the widget pack which is called Mond Rainmeter. So this is the widget pack which we are going to install. You can see some of the screenshots. For example, here you can see day of the week. We can also see here the clock then media player and all this good stuff. So here on this website, make sure that you click on the download option and you should get this file. And of course, make sure that you have here in the system tray, Raymeter up and running before installing any of the skins. Now, once you have it here, you can click on it and uh, you will see this Raymeter skin installer. Here, I'm gonna click on install and then just wait for a few seconds until we see this pop up. So here on the screen, we can see this uh, clock widget as well as the day widget. And then we have here the media player. We have also this dot and also the recycle bin. Here, I'm gonna right click on this widget and here click on unload skin. I will also remove this dot as well as the recycle bin as well. So just like this, it's that easy to remove them from your desktop. And now to change this widget right here, I'm gonna change the text color here. So on this widget on top, I'm gonna click here on text color and slide this slider here to the bottom. So here it must say RGB 0, 0, 0 and click on OK. And now our widget is right now black. And we can also close this widget here on top. Now to modify this widget even further, we can right click on it and then here click on edit skin. It is very important that we do that. If you scroll here down below, we will see a few of the options which we will need to change. The first one is of course here meter date. Make sure that you remove this one and then we can scroll up here up further. So here we have meter day. Make sure that you leave this one. And then we can continue here with the meter 12 hour clock. Make sure that you delete this one as well. And then for meter 24 hour clock, we can also delete this one as well. And we are left pretty much with the meter day option only. Then here on top, we can scroll up until we find here the scale option. We can remove a few numbers and here I will type 1.60. And then here on top, you will click on file and click on save as. This is very important that you save this file when you actually modify it. So here I'm gonna click X on the editor and we can right click on the widget. And here I'm gonna click on refresh skin. Now you can see here that it has this bigger size as well as it doesn't have any more the clock and other information. Here I'm gonna put it somewhere here on top because I think it looks the best this way. And now we can continue with a few more widgets. The next one is actually this one right here. It's called Monterey Raymeter. I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. And here under the releases, I'm gonna click on it. And uh, down below, we're gonna find this file, Monterey 1.0.2. Click on it and it should save on your computer. I'm gonna click on it to install on my computer and click on install. Then you should see this window, it's called widgets. And now we can add some of the widgets on our desktop. The one which I quite like, it's called calendar. So I'm gonna click on it, click on the monitoring as well and the weather one as well. Here, I'm also going to click on the notes widget and also on the reminders. So just like this, now now, if you want to change the appearance of the widgets, you can also go here under the appearance options and change this one to whatever you prefer. I do prefer the blur option nevertheless. So here we can click on X on the appearance and now we can just put the widget somewhere here on the right. This one notes, I will put also somewhere here on the right. Now for the weather widget, I'm gonna put it somewhere here down below, right click on it and change the size to the white. And to change the location of the widget, we can also right click on it. And here you can click on edit weather. And here city by default is set to Seoul. So here I'm gonna change it to London, just like this. And here you will click on enter and save. Now you should see also the location change. And now we can also put this widget and put it here somewhere on the left bottom corner. Now for the calendar widget, I'm gonna put this one here down below next to the weather widget as well. And I think it already looks super, super well. Now, if you want to take this setup to a whole new level, we can also add a live wallpaper to it. 
by using this free application. It's called Lively Wallpaper. And if you are here on the GitHub page, you can also go here to the releases page, or you can also install this application from the Microsoft store. So you can easily do that as well. Here, I do prefer that I download the installer from the GitHub page. So here I'm gonna click on the exe file, just like this, wait for a few seconds. And here I'm gonna just install this program as I would any other program on Windows 11. And then you will also have to restart your computer. Now, once you have it opened, you can go to the Rain Live Wallpaper, click on it, and this is how it's going to look like from default. Now, to change its wallpaper, you guys are going to click on the three dots, click on Customize, and here you're gonna click on this, and make sure that you then search for this wallpaper we got from Unsplash. And then here on top, you can change the intensity, speed, brightness, normal, and zoom. And this is pretty much how our setup right now looks like. We have also this bonus live wallpaper on our desktop, which I think looks super well. We have also this widgets. We have also this really cool taskbar and the transparent start menu with the transparent notification center. Now with every single program I mentioned in this video, I'm also going to put a link for it in the video description down below. Like this video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel of course, and with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and uh, I will see you all around in the next one.